It's going. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. This is Kathy Bartuli from the IntimacyDojo.com, and we're here today with Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com, and we're talking about what do you do if you mess up when you're in a relationship? Run. Run! Or hide it. Hide. No, don't do that. Buy flowers? That Well, yes, but that's after. Oh, okay. Um, well, I mean, the first thing you do is you go through your own freak out that you screwed up. Everybody does. Um, and then, basically, you should come clean with the other person. I think we're, we now live in a, in a time where transparency will help you have a better, more fulfilling relationship and, and increase your odds of it, of it lasting longer than, <clears throat> than trying not to rock the boat and trying to hide things and sweep things under the rug. So what if you don't have a history of coming clean? And you don't have a pattern to do that. How do you start that pattern? Um, well, the, basically, what you what you've created, um, or what you found yourself in, is a difficult conversation. Yes. Um, so, if people go to my website and uh, go to readaboutsex.com um, and search for difficult conversation or the phrase "say what say what you're say what you're not saying," mm -hmm. um, those two searches will come up with with a whole little idea on how to do this, like a script. Yes. Um, but the basic idea is you get really clear as to why are you afraid to tell so-and-so, mm -hmm. what you would like to have happen by telling your, your loved one, and then what you want to tell them. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you, you, you write that stuff down so you have it, and then you go to your partner and you say, I have something I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you because I'm afraid of X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. What I want to have happen by telling you is A, B, C, D. And what I'm not saying is blah. And then you put it out there. Um, the only thing that you could do, not to make it more complicated, but like that's the simplest thing to do, and just get the cat out of the bag. Uh -huh. um, if you want to be a little bit more savvy, um, you can sit your partner down and say, listen, um, I want to build into our relationship moving forward. Before anything bad happens. Well, ideally, yes. But let's say you, you're in the middle of, oh, I just screwed up royally. Mm -hmm. Sit down with your partner and say, listen, I want to build into our relationship that, you know, we have a history of being transparent and having difficult conversations and, and sharing the stuff that's scary. Mm -hmm. And I have something I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. So that, and then what I just said with the formula. Okay. Can you give us an example? Say you were supposed to pick something up for a party and you forgot. Um, so this would be my example if I had kids. Oh. Um, honey, <laughs> um, there's something I'm not... I, I would like for you and I to have them built into our relationship that we tell each other, you know, the scary stuff. And, uh, and I have something to tell you. Um, <laughs> what I'm afraid of uh, is that you're going to leave me that you will report me to the authorities and that you will ruin my reputation on Facebook and, and other social media platforms. Mm -hmm. um, what I'd like to have happen is for you to realize that, that I am human and that I will always tell you things as quickly as I can, even when they're royal screw-ups. Um, I'd like for you to feel like you can trust me, uh, even when I'm not perfect. And... Um, that I'll always clean up my messes to the best of my ability and that hopefully this will deepen our relationship. And what I'm not telling you is that I left our son at the store and I don't know where he is. <laughs> I, I, forgot to, I forgot that he was with me and I left. And I can't remember what store it was. Is that a good example? Great example. Though yeah. so if you actually did leave your kid at the store, you may want to skip all the prequel and just call 911 or something. Maybe. <laughs> Have that conversation after you yeah. found the kid. But, I mean, in, in a kind of romantic comedy movie thing. That would be hysterical. They, he would be trying or she would be trying to get the kid back without telling the other one and it would just make it worse. There'd be a whole debacle in the whole weekend they're yeah. chasing around. Oh, he's over here. Let me go get him. And Yeah. And, and so like you, you want to not be that person. Like life would be nice if life was a romantic comedy, but it is not. Um, and it doesn't have to be something as 
huge as you left your kid at the mall. Um, it can be something as, you know, I screwed up on our taxes. I lost my, get us. yeah, I lost my job. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, I've heard of people not telling for months. Yeah. Going so to work every morning. Stuff like that. Great. Your mileage may vary, but, um, it's, it's a, it's an easy formula mm -hmm. and, and it helps people get over the hump. And then once you build that into your relationships, it becomes normal to have the scary conversations. Then you start having them sooner than later and you really start trusting each other. But yeah, like you're not walking around with this looming sense of, are they telling me everything? Yes. Which a lot of people have, especially when you've been together for 10, 15, 20 well, on years. On the other side, are they going to find out what I've been lying about or withholding all that Exactly. Time? That eats up so much bandwidth and energy and it's not, it's not useful. It's not a good use of your resources. It blocks intimacy. Mm -hmm. While this process may be challenging at first, if you practice on small things at first and mm -hmm. build up some trust and some confidence, it can really open up a relationship. Yeah, like you left your, your dog at the mall. <laughs> and you don't know which mall. And you don't know which mall. But you, you had the kid. The kid's with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye.